Welcome back, everyone. Today, I am excited to talk about the Emacs web server. So this is a little web server that you can spin up right from Emacs, which is incredibly helpful if you are doing any kind of HTML, CSS, or JavaScript development. If you are learning the basics of HTML and CSS and JavaScript, what you'd probably do is just start editing an HTML file in Emacs or your editor of choice. And then you open up your browser and you'll just open that HTML file and um, start testing out your code. But the problem with that is that that's not an actual web server. There are certain things that uh, a web server gives you that you would need to emulate, like having a proper document root so that if you link to a forward slash, it takes you back up to the, the the main page, the home page, or what have you. And of course, directories are treated in different ways. There are certain things that you would want to emulate. And uh, there is an Emacs package that does this. There are also um, other web servers you can spin up. Um, there's a PHP server, a Python creates a, a web server. Uh, but these are all things that um, you know, you don't want to have to install PHP just to have a, a simple HTTP server. You can just do it right here in Emacs. So let's talk about it. This is the package here, simple HTTPD. And uh, of course, this is available in the uh, Melpa package archive. So if you have that in your configuration, all you need to do is a, a basic package install and you can have this. And uh, if you're unsure about how to install Emacs packages, I believe I have a video about that. If not, there's plenty of other ones out there that can get you up to speed. Uh, so basically, let's uh, fast forward here and see how this works. So this was my uh, little blog post on the topic here in org mode. This is my little use package declaration that will install the package in my Emacs configuration. And we'll cut forward to a practical example of this. So you'll see here on my home directory, I have a directory called website. This was my actual website that I was using for a while, which I was building with org mode. This is actually a really fun way to build a website. If you're familiar with org mode and you like it, uh, you can do a lot of nice things. But basically, there is an org directory where I have my my org files here. Uh, so I had it programmed that if something was a dot draft file, that it would not be built into the HTML. It would just sort of be ignored. So what the um, the org mode publish function does is it takes anything with dot org and it converts it to uh, HTML. So this is the resulting site right here. These are the HTML files. So if I wanted to look at this in a browser, uh, you would just be able to say open up the index.html file. That's one of the things that a web server does is it will look for a file called index and it will make that the home page. So any anchor links that go to forward slash will automatically load that file on the on the domain, uh, basically. Uh, but of course, if I just opened up that in that index.html file, the file path in the browser would just be, you know, dot, dot, dot file path to index.html. We don't want that. We want it actually as the document root of the site. So that's an instance in which we use our web server. Uh, so because I've already installed the simple HTTP package, uh, we can just go ahead and use it here. So from this directory, okay, so we can launch this by doing an MX and do HTTPD serve directory. It's automatically chosen the HTML directory because I'm in that directory. And uh, so here it is. It says uh, in the message down here that it's serving on 0.0. .0. That's the local host, basically, uh, port 8080. That's what's following the colon. And it's serving this directory website slash HTML. So when I actually, so now when I actually switch over to the browser here and you see the address I'm on is localhost, uh, port 8080, that's colon 8080, 8080. Uh, you can see it is serving my website. So this is an actual uh, HTML site here. If I click, uh, so this was uh, an article I wrote on um, an Emacs micro lesson about structured templates. And I had a button down here. This home page would take me to, again, the, the index file, the main file. So this was the, the document root of the site. So this is a, a fully functional little web server that you can have right in Emacs.
for doing your work, developing your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript talent. Uh, of course, um, all of those are good things to know. If you're just building a website for yourself or if you want to uh, get into front end web design and things, um, this is something you can do. You can be a real Emacs coder doing your actual coding in your own little local host. Well, that's actually about it. Um, that would have been really helpful when I was first playing around with uh, creating sites from org mode uh, or just learning uh, HTML and CSS in general. Uh, but there you go. Now you know. That's the simple HTTPD package in Emacs. Launch a local web server right from Emacs. All right, well, thank you for watching, everybody. I'm going to leave the video right there. If you have any comments or questions, as always, feel free to drop them below. And I will talk to you all in the next one.